<coughs> well, hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. What you see here are four neodymium iron boron magnets. They're half inch by eighth inch stack. Anyway, right here, what I have is a copper pipe. Magnets do not stick to the copper pipe. Copper is a non-ferrous metal, but it does display mag uh, properties of magnetism if a magnet is moving. And so does other conductive metals that are non-ferrous. Ferrous means that it would go and stick. Okay? That's a short definition. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these inside the pipe. Watch. Magnet falls pretty quick. Nothing special about magnets falling. What I'm trying to show you is called the lens effect. This is going to go through the pipe. The pipe is going to act like a coil of wire, but it's shorted out. When that electromagnetism, when, uh, when that electricity is shorted out, that's energy lost. It's going to do it at both ends of the magnet. Because one is north, the other end is south. It's going to do it twice. So here we go. Let's see how long it takes to go through. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen seconds. If those are true seconds. We'll do it one more time to show you. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Didn't seem to have any effect shaking it. I guess it's still generating electricity going up and down. Hmm, imagine that. I'll try one more time, just for those who doubt, and I'm not going to do a thing except hold it here. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh well. <coughs> well, I thank you very much. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and Other Home Energies. That is called the lens effect. That's why your wind turbine, if you got a wind turbine that's spinning fast and you come up to some high wind and you don't have it to a load or batteries, or to a space heater, whichever, and you got some high winds, it's liable to self-destruct. A furling mechan uh, automatic furling mechanism will help out a lot, but doesn't guarantee. St if things start spinning free without something to slow it down, it's going to go pretty fast. Now the deal is, when you short them wires out on a wind turbine, what it should do is slow down almost to stop. So there's two ways of overspeed protection. It's one, shorten the wires out, which slows the prop down or the passing of the magnets past the coils because the coils are shorted out, just like the lens effect here. Or you can use a brake system. Okay, use a brake system. And the other will be the automatic furling mechanism which I recommend on any wind turbine. I've seen a few out there on the web that got totally destroyed. One guy said it shouldn't have been operating out there in 60 mile. Well, I'll tell you what, 60 mile an hour winds are going to come. You've got, I mean, what are you going to do? Climb your pole and initiate a brake system? Or turn your tail? Sorry, that doesn't work. The tail should be able to turn at a certain mile per hour angle a piece like this, slide another piece over it like this, and rub your tail off it. Because it's at an angle, the tail is going to turn, it's going to go up. The length and the weight of the tail is going to tell it what speed to furl out of the wind. And what makes it want to turn is having your motor mounted to the side. Usually about four inches to do. I've done mine a little bit too far. I'm going to start shortening up my distance from the side of the pole. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies.